KPL Round 6, meet the top performers The KPL Round 6 of action gave rise to new names on the FUDA Team of the Week, a proof of the level of competitiveness being witnessed in the Kenyan top tier this season. From a hat-trick to brace heroes, all of whom have taken charge of the score chart, meet this week's best performers and have your say, Benson Mingale, Bien Zoya Sugarkeeper did almost everything else required of him despite conceding a goal. He made a couple of vital saves including Wesley Anguso's penalty which had been converted at first but he responded with a decent save the last 10 minutes of the game. He kept the Millers in the game to earn a place. Charles Momani, the former Kakamega homeboys man produced a man of the match performance. He was strong in the air when called upon both at the back and in attack and helped keep Gormahia in the game especially in the final third when Enzoya was capitalizing on set pieces. He aggressively formed a superb partnership with Yuaki Moluak. He was solid defensively. Smithuko, the defender has risen from the ashes of being axed at Chemlil to form part of a formidable backline at homeboys. Stood tall and solid in defense, his height, strength and timely reaction saving homeboys on numerous occasions from embarrassing attacks from speedy Ulinzi attackers in Yuloma, Wamalwa, Wiweru and later Masuda. John Kuol, the Chemlil Sugar and former Kakamega High School lanky defender exhibited total composure in the match at the back. This left the Nakumat defenders confused and were forced to abandon their attack plans as he calmed down the game. The South Sudanese by birth is slowly cementing his place in the Miller's defense. Jeffrey Shivika, the Sharks defender may be short in stature, but he is definitely huge on the ball. He earns his place for keeping out Sofa's formidable attack with well-timed tackles and blocks. He constantly kept Kefa Aswani and Umar Kasuba under check as Sharks collected a point in the game. Kevin, Aid, Amandi, the experienced Gormahia wing are extended his fine form from the Esperance meeting to the league. Aid kept it simple this time and provided stability in midfield while providing the necessary support to his teammates in attack. This played a key role in the goal. Marvin Nabwire Amandi, the 20-year-old former Kakamega High attacking midfielder scored a wonder goal for Ingwe in the dying minutes to seal the three points and confirm a successful comeback against Mathair United. This was, however, a reward for his combative style in midfield during the match that snuffed the life out of the slum boys despite their early lead. William Wadri, the Ugandan attacking midfielder scored a brace in the club's 3-0 victory and has been described by the coach as a great asset. Wadri settled fast after missing pre-season training but soon grabbed his place in pressing against Gormahia. He was instrumental in midfield in frustrating Sony Sugar and enjoyed great combination with another sensation Anthony Wambani in midfield. Jeffrey Odeniawiti, some call him Jafari or just use his family name Okaka. The Makumu boys alumnus and former Chemlio Sugar attacker got two assists to his name helping Duncan Odieno and Ezekiel Odera to the score chart. He also played a key role in the Leopards' comeback from 1-3 to, to win the match in Machakos. Cliff Nyakea, the former Gormahia youth midfielder got a brace for Mathair United despite being on the losing side that lost the grip to a match that they had a chance of winning. He terrorized Leopards most notably throughout the first half and should have indeed scored more. Philip Machuma, the Chemlil striker is definitely a player on everyone's lips this week for being a pure wizard on the ball. During his second season at Chemilil, he caused panic on the Nakumat defense whenever he was in possession. His efforts bored him a hat-trick, one goal from the spot kick and was the man of the match. Mentions Duncan Odeano, the midfielder pulled a goal back for AFC Leopards just before the break to cut Mathers' lead to 2-3. The former AFC U-20 team was sound both defensively and in the attack, his combination with Marvin was a marvel to watch. Anthony Wambani, the Bandai midfielder has been in good form this season and maintains his solid place in attack. He was instrumental in the two goals by Wadri and always caused panic in the Sony defense when with the ball. Evans Kiwanuka added great value to the homeboys midfield especially being his first 90 minutes of the season. He helped ease speed from Speedy Miloma and Kasuthi. Masita Masuda, the attacker is still in fine form for Enzoya, this time, the super sub came with value despite illness scare earlier in the day and netted a goal in the 88th minute which turned to be the decider. His introduction was tactical as his coach confirmed, good in speed, judgment and aerial balls. Vincent and GESA, he wisely kept it simple against the last year's KPL champions. 
made a number of key blocks and interceptions which was evidently seen when he saved the day with a brilliant interception from Ephraim Gikan's effort hence denying him scoring opportunity in an empty net after he had already rounded the keeper in the 67th minute giving strength to his fellow teammates to continue fighting back. Jackson Macharia had bossing time in midfield before paving way for Odongo. Two of his timely and accurate through passes were wasted by Timothy Otieno and Robert Akama allowing Bika to frustrate the Brewers at home for a barren draw. Goalkeeper, Benson Mangla defenders, Jeffrey, Shivika, Smithuko, John Kuol, Charles Mamani midfielders, Jaffrey Awiti, Kevin, Aid, Amandi, Marvin Amandi, William Wadri strikers, Philip Machuma, Cliff Nyakea coach, Ken Odiambo.